Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing yet another edition of the bi-weekly wishlist or washout, but with a twist. So if you're new to my channel or if you've not seen the series before, what I do is every other Wednesday go through all the new makeup releases that I see on Instagram and I decide if I'm going to be adding anything to my wish list or if everything is a total washout. Now for this video, I actually did like a super impromptu unexpected haul this weekend, like yesterday. I, I've been really stressed recently and I've been trying to kind of like hold it in and like not vent to anybody because I don't want to like burden anybody with my problems and whatnot. Anyway, I had a really bad week and I had a really bad day, like Saturday morning. Um, and my boyfriend, who's literally the best person ever, came over and he was like, do you want to like get some Taco Bell and go to Ulta? And I was like, yes, yes I do. <laughs> so we did that and I went a little ham. And it was literally, this trip was the first time I've gone inside of an Ulta or a Sephora since February. So it was months and months and months and I literally, I bought a lot. <laughs> so I figured um, instead of filming a separate haul, because I literally just filmed like a pixie haul, if you missed it I'll throw it up in the cards, but I'll just go through quickly what I purchased. At. I also placed an online Sephora order for two new foundations. So I thought, you know, what better way to do my little update section of my Be Wow than to do this haul real quick and then we can jump into the new makeup releases. Real quick before we jump into the haul, I am actually going to be out of town a little bit um, for the day that this goes up through like Sunday. So I'm probably going to be like really delayed on answering comments. My goal is actually to like turn my phone off and just like totally like unplug for at least a day. Um, so if you see a delay, on my responses to comments over that time. I hope it's not too bad. Please understand. I really just need a break <laughs> and a little bit of a vacation. So that's what that that's what I'm going to be doing. If you want to skip this haul portion, I'll go ahead and throw a timestamp up right here because I know not everyone is going to want to sit around for the haul. But those of you who are interested in seeing what I picked up from Ulta and in my online Sephora order, let's go. Okay, so like I said, I placed an online Sephora order first because I've been running out of foundations and I really just wanted to like splurge and get some new foundations. So I picked up these two because I also had a 20% off foundation coupon from Sephora. So I picked up the Magic Foundation from Charlotte Tilbury because I'm just curious, really. I'm actually wearing it today. I'm sweating through it up here just because we got like a taste of fall weather like a couple of weeks ago and like the past like three days it's been hot again and I hate it. <laughs> As you can if you cannot tell from like my eyeshadow and my everything I want fall. <laughs> Give me fall weather please. Anyway so I'm wearing this one today and I'm just really curious about whether or not the magic foundation was going to be worth it. Along that same vein I tried the concealer from Pat McGrath a while ago. It was sent to me in PR and I loved it. So I knew I had to pick up the foundation at some point. So I did pick up the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation in the shade Light 2. So I've not actually tried this out yet. These are both empty. I've already put them into my everyday makeup basket. But can I just say the packaging on this is stunning. So anyway, so I've got these two like luxury-ish foundations that I'm really excited to try out and test. And I am going to be doing at some point um, a review roundup of a bunch of like little things I picked up here and there that I have not done dedicated videos on. So that will be coming. And I did get those both for 20% off from Sephora online. Now jumping into everything I just kind of grabbed at Ulta. Uh, first things first, some hair care. So I picked up um, some Not Your Mother's. This is the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk 3-in-1 Conditioner. I love this conditioner so much. And after I ran out of the last bottle, I talked about it in my last empties video. If you missed it, I'll throw it up in the cards. But I noticed a difference in my hair. Like, it's not as conditioned and nice and curly as it was when I was using this conditioner. So I missed it. So I definitely had to pick up a bottle. Along with the conditioner, I can't remember whether or not I've tried this gel, so I picked up the Curl Talk Frizz Control Sculpting Gel, just to try out, and I saw it there as well, so <laughs> why not? The last hair care item I picked up is from Batiste, and this is just their original dry shampoo. I am about out of all of my dry shampoo. The last one I have is a dry shampoo foam, which I believe is also from Batiste, uh, but that one's almost gone, and I do like having a dry shampoo, like, on days like today where I, like, I need to wash my hair, but I don't want to do it, so I throw it up in a bun <laughs> or throw it up in a ponytail. I do like to spray dry shampoo in before, like, I put my hair up in a bun or whatnot, and I do really like the scent of these, so I just picked up a little mini. I like it. <laughs> 
I did pick up quite a few of these Tony Moly sheet masks just because I love them and I never really buy sheet masks anymore. Um, so I got the I'm Avocado sheet mask, the I'm Lavender sheet mask, the I'm Red Wine sheet mask, and then the I'm Aloe sheet mask. I'm 100% bringing these with me on my weekend away, which I don't know if I've mentioned it. Uh, we basically, my boyfriend and I, for our anniversary, we booked an Airbnb. So we're just gonna have a staycation for like, it's like four days, three nights. And I wanna unplug the whole time and just like binge watch some movies and eat some good food. And I am gonna bring these sheet masks with me and like take a nice bubble bath and just, oh, I'm so excited. I am so excited guys, but I love these sheet masks and I'm super excited to get them. And I realized, at Ulta, the, I went on Saturday, the Saturday before this is going up, and there was a sale. So I think it was 30% off of these, and I think I had 30% off of um, a couple of other things in this little haul. All right, getting into the actual makeup. I just on a whim picked up the Kylie Cosmetics like loose setting powder. I got the shade Translucent. I've never tried her loose setting powder before, but I love her concealer, and so I was like, you know what? I kind of want to try it. And on this note... <laughs> Like I said, so this is my first time being inside of an Ulta store or anything since, you know, COVID. And I kind of thought they would just get rid of all the testers. It was a bit weird what they did. So what they did is instead of actually like just taking down the testers and throwing them out, they like left the testers there, but they taped over all of them with like clear packing tape. So it was kind of weird. So you could kind of see the shades, but not really. I don't know. I just, it, it felt really weird and like kind of dystopian to me, like walking into a store and like everything is taped over. I don't know. I, I mean, I guess it's better for them not to waste the product, but then also it's, it was just strange to me. So <laughs> anyway, because of that, I saw, like, I really wanted to try some of the Kylie bronzers and blushes, but because I really couldn't see the shades, I'm just going to buy things online. Just really, I mean, in our new COVID world, we're never going to have samplers back. So I'm just gonna have to get used to it. But I, I just really wanted to try the loose powder. So I did pick up the loose powder from Kylie. Uh, next, I picked up a duo lash glue because I was trying to use my other um, little lash glue bottles and I realized a couple of them are dried out. And I do want to try to wear lashes every now and then. So I just, I got a double-sided one. So I think one side is black and the other side is the white lash glue. It's not, it's not my favorite lash glue. My favorite is the House of Lashes, but I think you can only get that at Sephora. So next I picked up this Real Techniques powder brush. I really like these brushes and I really wanted a good backup to my everyday face powder brush, which is the Too Faced Mr. Right brush. Um, just because it takes me a while to get to actually washing my brushes, right? So I wanted to have a little backup because I like to swap them out, like use my brushes for a full day and then I'll kind of swap them out and use other brushes and then I just wash all my brushes at once. So anyway, really like these ones from Real Techniques. I saw these in stock and so I picked up a couple just because I love this mascara. I got the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. I got two bottles because they're $4.99 and they're amazing. And these are also like 20% off or on sale, so even better. I also walked by a display of NYX eyeliner, so I just kind of randomly picked up this green one because, you know, I realized I don't only really have a green eyeliner. We could have some fun with this. All right, next, I finally picked up a foundation that I've been wanting to try ever since Kendo Vegan Kindness Beauty with with Vegan Kindness got rid of Kat Von D. So I picked up the Locket Foundation. I've never tried this foundation before. I know it's supposed to be like super full coverage, but I was just super interested. I have the shade Light 42 Neutral, which I think is supposed to be a good shade match for me. The best that I could see, like, oh, I'm sweating all the way down my lips. Lovely. But this looked like the best shade match that I could see in the store. I haven't actually like swatched it yet, but I think it I think it'll be fine. Last but certainly not least, I went to the BH Cosmetics display section and I picked up some palettes. <laughs> I finally got the Avocado Toast palette. Ah, oh, it's I mean, first of all, adorable. Adorable. Second of all, look at these shades. It's gorgeous, and I love the gigantic mirror in here. The packaging is adorable. I I cannot wait to dig in. This looks fantastic. And lastly, I picked up the Crystal Zodiac palette. Now, I adore the original Zodiac palette from BH Cosmetics. I also picked up the second palette, which was the Love Science palette, which was like their like really pinky red palette. It's good, not as great as the first one, but I've wanted to pick this up for a while, and so I finally got it and it looks absolutely stunning. Look at this. Oh, I love 
love how this looks. I cannot wait to dig in and do a full like thorough test on this. So guys, let me know down below, do you want to see a full dedicated video like on just this palette where I can compare it to the other two Zodiac palettes? Or do you want to see it like in a more of a like a roundup video? So that's it. That's everything I hauled during this past weekend because I needed some serotonin. Let's go ahead and jump into the actual Be Wow. Okay, so now time for the regular Be Wow. So I'm just going to pull up Trend Mood and take a look. The first thing that popped up is this new, another new beauty brand, because of course it's another new beauty brand. This is made by Mitchell, and this is Mitchell. I have no idea who this is, and to be quite honest, not really interested at all. Just, no thank you. So next, Kendo Vegan Kindness with Vegan Beauty Kindness and Beauty is coming out with a new quad. So I actually, so I bought one of these quads back like a TJ Maxx like three years ago and it was like an okay quad but it was just like man it wasn't really that great you know um but this it's literally a condensed version of the pop effect it's literally just like neutrals and a blue and this honestly I feel like a, a creative director needs to go into KVD vegan beauty and just like give them a swift kick in the butt because they could be doing so much right now like you know Urban Decay isn't doing like what they used to be doing, you know, they could really fill such a, like a hole in the market right now. They could do grungy looks, they could do like everything that my little heart desires, but they're not. They're really going to like neutrals. They're trying to appease way too many people. And I don't think it's going to work for them because that's not what their brand was originally. And so everyone who was into their brand before but stopped because of Kat Von D is no longer interested. And everyone who would be interested by their neutrals has a bajillion other brands to choose from. So, yeah. Sugar Pill is coming out with some new eyeshadow shades that are gorgeous. That Sleepwalker shade. I still have not, other than their mini palette, actually tried their singles. I really want to. I want to make my own palette. But, like, ugh, when we way pre-COVID, um, we used to have a Riley Rose in a local mall that carried all their single shadows, but they were almost always sold out. So I couldn't really pick up any there. And it was... I never really bought them online, but then when I tried to go buy them online, they're also sold out. So if, if I could find them at a time when most of their stuff is in stock, I'll actually, like, make my own palette and try them out. Especially because these look so pretty, and I hope they're permanent, because if they're not, that's just sad. So before I talk about the ColourPop disappointing Halloween Hocus Pocus release, let's talk about their drama with their sandstone release. So they had this whole collection, which is basically culturally appropriating Native American culture and ID, not ideology, but like iconography, that's the word, into not only their design, but also into their shade names, which is pretty shitty, you know? And it's not even like a good looking palette. And the, the, the collection was just kind of meh. The only thing I was actually kind of sort of interested in were the liners, because the liners was like this red and then this deep burgundy and like a nice like shimmery kind of gold. The rest of the collection was just meh. But they gave like this kind of half-assed apology on Twitter. And it wasn't even like its own post or anything. It was like a reply to a tweet. They handled this terribly. And like, can we just not... Like, they come out with so many products. They could have just skipped this collection. <laughs> you know, rebranded it. Maybe even collabed with like a Native American influencer. Y thoughts color pop they could have done so much but nope they were just like half-assed apology still releasing it like really come on i mean at this point i expect better but i sh shouldn't expect better because most companies have not done shit so that being said i wasn't gonna buy any of that collection but then like their whole cultural appropriation and their really shitty apology just put the put the nail in the coffin and then right after they teased a hocus pocus collab and i was like oh shit this could be incredible and then because they can't keep a secret not 24 hours later they revealed it and yeah so this is the whole collection they've got lashes they've got this really underwhelming palette like what is what is with this palette like it's neutral neutral red one green shade one orange neutral halloween like i know i asked companies to do fall and do halloween palettes and now that we have this it's like why did you play it so neutral this is a halloween palette this is the hocus pocus palette i want 
I want a black shade. I want a, a bright neon green. I want oranges. I want bright pinks. I I want this palette, but with the saturation turned all the way up and with more greens and with more oranges. That's what I want. And oh my god, I'm just so disappointed. And they came out with three lip kits. That, that they're all just like dark red lip kits. Not a green, not a black. Like, why? So yeah, so like the fact that they did three red lip- I know red lipsticks is a big thing. I think they mostly wear red lipsticks, but like if you're coming out with a Halloween collection, give me a black lipstick, give me a green lipstick, give me a red lipstick, give me an orange lipstick, just anything. <laughs> anything with spice, anything with creativity. Anything. <laughs> oh, I'm so disappointed. And the lashes, they're just like meh. I've not heard anything about ColourPop lashes, so mm. And then I think they came out with like two glitters. I'm just, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not here for it. I'm just not. And it's... <sighs> now what I am here for is this. So, um, Betty Jean, Butte Bean here on YouTube, did a collab with Shroud Cosmetics. And look at this, look at this palette. That's a Halloween palette. That, that is a fall. That is a spoopy palette if I've ever seen one. I want this. I want this so bad. Um, I don't think I'm going to get the first release. It's going to go on pre-order October 4th. So actually, let me, I might just mark that in my calendar. I think it's the day I'm coming back from my trip. But if they're doing a pre-order, I might be able to get my hands on it. Because I don't know how they're going to do this. If they're only doing one batch, I'm going to be so sad because I want this. And I know so many people want this, which is fantastic. But I don't know if I'll get my hands on it. Um, but it's, uh, so there's four mattes, two duochromes, two shimmers, and one metallic. I cannot wait to get my hands on. This is what I wanted. This is fall. This is spoopy. This is amazing. Please, if you're not already subscribed, go support Butte Bean. I love her channel. I love her aesthetic, and I love this palette. So, <laughs> Hollow Taco came out with a new nail polish collection. Did I immediately jump on it? Yes, of course I did. I've already bought these. <laughs> so they came out with a duochrome collection, and I'm specifically all over that green duochrome. I'm still wearing green polish. This is all Hollow Taco, by the way. I need to redo it because they're, it, this is actually, so this is, let me zoom in here. This is a manicure that lasted a week and a half. No chipping. There's a little bit here on the edges, and you can see the growth. But like, this looks great. I love Hollow Taco nail polish. It's fantastic. So I bought all of these. <laughs> And I cannot wait to get these in. I might do another. I did a live stream a while ago where I tried doing, um, I did some nail art and answered some questions. I might just do that. It might be fun. Maybe in a couple of weeks when I get the collection and play with it. But I'm so excited for these colors. They look stunning. Here's another disappointing fall holiday release. Uh, it looks like, um, Makeup Revolution did a Disney collab with The Nightmare Before Christmas. But look at this palette. This looks so washed out. Again, a palette where I want to just turn up the saturation a bit. And this could have been cute, but like... Mm, it looks like a Hot Topic palette. It really does. And it looks different in every picture, so I really have no idea like what the actual palette looks like. Because every single one of these pictures looks different, and none of them look fantastic. So, again, my little... October favorite spoopy heart is just wilting. I guess Kylie Cosmetics just came out with new shades of their blush and highlighter sticks. I gotta be honest, I don't remember them actually coming out with this. <laughs> so there are some highlighter shades, there are some blush shades. I've never tried anything like cream or liquid from Kylie Cosmetics, so... Um, I don't know. Have any of you tried this? I don't know if I should try it or not. No. Okay, so I'm kind of, sort of, tempted by this, but I don't think I should get it. This is the new Pat McGrath Holiday Palette, and it's huge. <laughs> it is gigantic. This is the Holiday 2020 Palette, and it looks stunning. But, like, okay. I don't know if her Holiday Palettes are different from her normal palettes. I've not bought a single normal Pat McGrath Palette. The only Pat McGrath Palette I own is her Holiday, I think it was 2018. And they're, like, okay. But not worth the price, you know? Like like Natasha Denona. Like they're good shades, but like that price point. Mm. So I'm on the fence here. I don't know if I should get this holiday palette and like play and have fun with it. Or if I should just save my money and get one of her. I think it's the Divine Rose 2 that I was super into. So I don't know. I, 
let me know down below what your thoughts are there. I don't understand this and I think they should have just put this in a palette to be quite honest. Mel Cosmetics came out with, am I not in focus? Mel Cosmetics came out with a new stack but this these are a uh, contour and yeah sculpting shades. Ooh, uh, that's not why why do I want this in a stack? I've heard nothing but like meh things about their stack packaging like yeah, so yeah I don't know and are these cream? No they're powders. Okay they're all powders which makes it a little bit better but also like this packaging is just yeah, this, this should have been a contour palette. This should have been a palette. So it looks like e.l.f. is coming out with some new lip balms. Um, oh, I love cheap, affordable lip balms, especially Blistex and Aquaphor. But these, you know, being tinted like this, I've always not really wanted tinted lip balms because the way I put lip balms on when I don't have makeup on, I just go and so it gets like everywhere. <laughs> So if I put on a tinted one, I would it would be just like the square, just all tinted moisturizer. So it wouldn't work, is what I'm trying to say. So personally, this isn't like my market, this isn't for me, but I do appreciate that it seems like they actually tried to do different shades and involve a little bit of fall, just a tiny little bit, with a pumpkin spice latte shade and flavor. Okay, so what the actual hell is this? P. Louise, which is known for their like huge bulky packaging, is coming out with a palette that is A, already way too big outside of their bulky packaging, and B, is just way too neutral. No one needs this many neutral shades, they just don't. It's... and it's gonna be way... imagine how expensive this is gonna be. It's gonna be way too expensive. It's just not worth it. It's not. So... Makeup Revolution came out with these, it's called the New Crystal Collection, and they've got these face palettes that I, I want. I want them so bad. So they come in three shade ranges, and the way that they are, they're split. So they're like split pans, and there's like highlighter, like I guess um, a not a shimmery highlighter, and then a bright highlighter, and then a not a shimmery blush, and then a bright shimmery blush. And I, I love how this looks. This looks fantastic. I love the packaging. I love the shades. Oh, I want it. I see this, the, the prices in pounds, so I don't know if this is going to be available worldwide. But ooh, I want this palette. It looks so pretty. Okay, so I'm going to admit I need some help here. Givenchy released their new 2020 holiday collection and I want too much of it, which is to say I want some of it because some of it is too much. First of all, they have this highlighter or eyeshadow palette that is like bright and sparkly and has stars in it. I want it. Okay. Second of all, they have this palette and like looking at it and looking at the shades and picking them apart, I know they are basic. I know we've got creams next to powders, which is a faux pas in my opinion, but I want this big face palette. <laughs> I tried, I got sent their um, loose uh, Prism Libre powder in PR and I was shocked by how good it was. Like I, like to the point where I'm, I have it ready to buy a backup when I run out. And like I um, and now I'm like in this like existential vortex where it's like, is Givenchy makeup actually good? Do I need to try more of it? Shocking. And I saw this face palette and I was like, oh no, I want it. <laughs> someone, please, someone help me talk me out of this. Talk me down because I, I should not get this. I don't even know how much it is. It's probably going to be way too much as it is. But I want this palette. <laughs> oh no. So another day, another celebrity coming out with a makeup slash skincare line. I have to say, so Alicia Keys, if it's skincare, that's going to make a hell of a lot more sense than it's going to be makeup. Um, I'm not going to buy anything. It's not even going to come out until 2021. Whoa. I just said it's not going to come out until 2021, but we're only like three months away from 2021. Can this, is, are we actually so close to this year being over? Like, this has legitimately been, like, the worst year of my life. Like, and I know that that's the case for a lot of people, but, like, whew, we've got so much still to go through this year, though. Existential crisis. 
So anyway, getting back to the makeup, I was going to say I wasn't even going to buy anything, you know, as it was, because I'm not really buying from, like, that many celebrity skincare lines, or skincare lines at all. Makeup lines, meh. I think the only big celebrity makeup line that I've tried and I liked is Kylie. It's only certain products, not all of them. Certain products. So... <laughs> Um, so Shuemura is coming out with a, uh, a one-piece collab. First of all, um, the packaging looks bomb. The shades themselves look pretty boring, so I'm gonna have to roast them on the shades. But the packaging looks amazing. Where, so if we're doing, if we're open to anime collabs now, where are the rest of my anime fans? Where is my Death Note collab? I want a Death Note eyeshadow palette. Okay, um, Kuro Susuji. Shingeki no Kyojin. Let's just can we just open this up and just do all of the anime makeup because I'm there. I'm willing. <laughs> okay, and I think there's there's honestly more makeup I could talk about, but I feel like this video has gone on long enough, so I'm going to stop it here. If there's anything that I missed that you really want my opinion on and just drop my phone, please let me know down in the comments and I'll either respond in the comment or I'll include it in the next B wow. Again, for the from the day that this video goes up for like the next five days, I'm going to try and be offline. So if I'm a bit delayed in responding to messages on Instagram or Twitter or here on YouTube for comments, please just understand it's going to be temporary because I just need, I need a break. I need a break. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you thought of these new releases down below and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.